welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be reviewing the new Vanish Foundation by Hourglass. It came out with 32 shades in the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. So I'm really excited to try this. So I'm going to be swatching these and we're going to see which one is my shade. Hopefully I do have a shade for me. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one goes to Catherine Miller. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. I have dry skin at the moment but in summertime it's dry combination it's really dry at the moment to be honest I will write down all my other shades that I use in other foundations so that you guys have a reference I know that's really really helpful even for myself when I watch other people's reviews it's super helpful to have shade references in the info box so I want to leave that there so you can get this foundation from cult beauty space and K um, and it's 51 pounds. I think the price really makes me want to try this because like this has to be a really good foundation for it to be 51 pounds. I mean, I love the team um, that sent me this, like they're so lovely, but I always keep it real with you guys no matter what and you guys know that. So yeah, I do feel like 51 pounds is really pushing it for foundation. Like I don't, I don't, I've never bought foundation for 51 pounds. It really goes up there with like, I don't know, Natasha Denona, I think she charges more actually, but I don't know, what other found, even Giorgio Armani is like £35, so I'm, I'm really confused by that. It's weightless, full coverage, it has an unprecedented concentration of pigment, maximum coverage with minimum product, Using they recommend using half a pump. Feels like second skin due to its weightlessness, lasts up to 24 hours with no fade, it's waterproof, transfer proof, sweat proof and from light refracting microspheres to help blur and create soft focus dewy complexion. Now looking at the foundation range, I think they've got a good amount of like pale skin tones and tan skin tones and rich tan skin tones but when it goes to the deeper side I feel like they could definitely do with more. I know 32 shades sounds like a lot and that's an amazing range to have but I, I feel like there could be some more deeper shades added after espresso i think there's much darker than espresso out there and also i feel like there's not enough tones available i think there's only like three deep shades in my opinion so when i look at this no i don't i only think actually maybe maybe three to five deep shades and i think there could definitely be more so that's just my opinion so let's try this on now let's see how much product you get You get 25 mil in this. So not only is it 51 pounds, but there's 25 mil in this. So your standard foundation will be 30, like high-end foundation will be 30 to 35 pounds for around 30 mil. That's standard. That's standard. So here you're getting 25 mil for 51 pounds. So this really better be good. This really better be good, okay? I do have to say the foundation bottle and the packaging looks very nice, it feels very luxe, it's literally a glass, glass bottle and obviously you get a nice pump so that is a plus. So on this um, sheet that I got with the PR package it says hydrate, no primer needed with this foundation, half of a pump a dot onto face and use the vanish brush. So we're going to use the vanish brush. I don't feel like half a pump would be enough for me, but I'm gonna go by the recommendations and do this right. The brush is actually really cute. So like a little tiny kabuki brush. It feels really soft as well. Okay, so the three shades I have are Honey, Natural Amber, and Golden Amber. So we're gonna start off by swatching Honey. It's actually quite thick. As you can see, it doesn't like droop or anything. Honey is the one I use in the stick and I use golden amber to highlight with but that is not bad of a match to be honest. I could wear that one. This one, this is golden amber. Ooh. I'm definitely not that one, it's quite dark. And then we have natural amber, which is more neutral, I would say. Definitely more neutral. So we've got honey, golden amber, which is definitely golden, it's very yellow. And we have natural amber, which is definitely more neutral. 
so yeah those are the three shades i have and i'm definitely going to go with honey it might be light in some places but i feel like that's the closest match i have and it's the one i use in a stick foundation anyway so yeah here are the swatches of all three of them honey golden amber natural amber so i'm just going to quickly moisturize my skin i'm just using my neutrogena spf moisturizer like i always do i'm kind of happy that i've got golden amber because i feel like i can that was half a pump by the way that wasn't a full pump it didn't really say what skin types these are this foundation's for I think half a pump is enough for half of my face. I mean, I do have a big face. You could have like dispersed it a bit more, but I'm quite happy with this. But so far, you see a difference, guys? What I like about this so far is that it's super lightweight. Like I barely feel like I have foundation on my skin. So I'm gonna do another half pump on this side. And then I wanna, this definitely like is full coverage. Cause I put way more usually, but yeah, I'm gonna use my Eco Tools Beauty Sponge, which I've been loving lately. I just wanna see how this works with the sponge. I definitely feel like I prefer it with a sponge to be honest. I mean, I definitely feel like the shade is spot on, like literally spot on. Look at that. So I'm happy with that. Any foundation that I have that has literally a nice shade for me, I'm just already like liking it. So. I don't know this looks so beautiful it's definitely a dewy foundation it feels very lightweight it blended easily i definitely prefer it with the sponge though but it works well with the brush either way but i prefer it like it just blended more it was much smoother to blend with a beauty sponge i can deal with a little bit of smile lines but when it goes like overboard that's when i really don't like the foundation so we're gonna really watch that because i do get sort of slight smile lines with the stick but it's nothing major just a close up I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup I'm gonna see how this looks in a bit can you see my skin can you let's just take a second like can you see my skin like it almost just looks fake it looks it, it made my skin look almost looks like plastic like as if i went on my face tune and smoothed out my skin it's so stunning oh my god it's, so digital, guys. it's now 8 20 right now in the morning i'm gonna go out so we're gonna see how this stays on like honestly i have nothing bad to say i'm having slight slight smile lines but honestly nothing major i'm gonna do a close up in a bit but everything else looks nice. It's definitely a dewy foundation. Because I can still see some shine on my skin. And I haven't even put highlight. Can you see that glow? Like, it's definitely a dewy foundation. But not, like, overly dewy. It's a nice dewy, you know? My skin's super dry. So it's loving this foundation right now. It's not going weird anywhere. It's not patchy. It's not clinging. It's not separating. So we shall see how this looks later on. It looks really nice. I will say though that if you have oily skin, I would recommend powder, like powdering your face with this foundation if you don't like that oily kind of look. But for me, since I have dry skin, I'm loving it. It looks beautiful. I want to stop rambling. 
and I'll be back later on. Alright guys, I'm back. It's now 18.57. Please ignore these stains in the my backdrop. It's the steamer that's doing that. I need to get a new one. Anyways, it's fine. It's just for this video. Oh, it's so bad actually. Um, but anyways, I'm now back. I've had this foundation all day long. I think it's like been nine hours, I would say. I have to say, I really do like the foundation. Like, it's something I would definitely wear again. I like it better than the stick foundation, to be honest. I do have a slight smile lines, but it's not like major, major. I'd, I really, I get smile lines really easily, to be honest. It's just something that I'm always gonna get like I no, no matter what foundation I have apart from my Giorgio Armani and Fenty Beauty I get it like I don't even get smile lines from my Fenty Beauty and my Giorgio Armani foundation like, like those are my two two favorite foundations this one is really nice like it makes your skin look so soft so dewy it's definitely full coverage so I feel like I, I definitely use too much product um I could have like blended it maybe like disperse the product a bit better when I did that half pump but I think half half is way too much for my face like it's not heavy or anything but I feel like I could put less and still get a nice finish because I feel like some places I've, I've put too much you know I don't know but overall like I don't know I've had a long day I have, I have had a really nice day and I've laughed so much today and the fact that I've only got this as smile lines is really good because trust me like things like the kiko foundation oh my god that gave me like deep set granny smile lines okay so this is all right like i'm i'm not too bothered about it to be honest i do a close up but there are smile lines i feel like for 51 pound foundation i shouldn't be getting smile lines but other than the smile lines this foundation is so so beautiful like honestly it's a really it's like up there with my top foundations it's a really nice foundation and you only need the tiniest amount i feel like i, w I put way too much i love the the pigmentation the blendability the coverage the shade the shade is like spot on my color it's spot on so just that I, it makes me love the foundation even more uh it yeah i think it's just an all-around good foundation especially for my skin type i have really dry skin and my skin looks so smooth it hasn't separated or gone flaky anywhere i've been blowing out my nose it's still the foundation's still kind of there i don't know it's just a really good foundation the real question is would you go out and buy this foundation for 51 pounds i mean you can see it after nine hours it still looks like a fresh face i in my opinion definitely keep in mind it's a more of a dewy foundation it's not matte so you're gonna have to set with powder you're just gonna have to say a powder <laughs> but yeah would you buy this foundation for 51 pounds i was kind of shocked when i saw the price to be honest with you guys i'm gonna give it a good 8.5 out of 10 i'm really happy with it like i'm not i i feel like the smile lines are there because i've maybe put too much product so i'm gonna work with it even more and then i'll update the info box if i really see a difference but 8.5 out of 10 this is a really good foundation guys and the shade is amazing honey this is my shade and it matches me better than the honey in the stick weirdly enough i don't know if they were trying to make it similar or not but honey in the liquid form definitely suits me better i just like the formula of this liquid one compared to the stick actually like because with the stick one i get more smile lines than this so i don't know and my skin gets a little bit dry in certain areas but with this one like my skin loves it so i'm proper rambling on right now and i do want to mention i'll put a picture up this foundation photographs really well like so nice i've done one in sunlight and one as in flash photography in the dark and it didn't go give me any flashback it made my skin look really nice so yeah that is a plus as well i think there's 25 ml of product in this foundation because you only need half a pump for your whole face and i understand that like you only need the tiniest amount to blend this foundation out i definitely recommend just you know dotting it everywhere and then blending it rather than just concentrating one area and trying to blend it from that area do you know what i mean like i did basically i think that's why there's a smaller amount of product because you know you don't need that much and there's probably more pigment in the product let me know what you guys think in the comments below and yeah i shall see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye